Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm starting out as per usual with my primer. So I'm just using the Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade, which just helps to give my skin an even base to go on with foundation. For foundation, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Coverage, I think it's called. So I'm using a couple of pumps of that with a few drops of the Astralis Lightning Drops just because it didn't 100% match my skin tone. And then I'm just using a damp Real Technique sponge to blend all of this out. I haven't used a sponge in so long and I forgot how good this one is. So yeah, I enjoyed using it. <laughs> To add some warmth and dimension to the base, I'm taking this NYX Mineral Foundation Stick and I'm just outlining, drawing little lines all around where I want to contour, so around my hairline, my forehead, temple, under the cheekbones, under my lip, under my chin, and down my nose. So a lot of places. But it just helps to add some colour and it really acts as a beautiful base for your powder contour. I love doing this step when I want my makeup to last all day long. Moving on to the eyes, I'm taking the Sigma Eye Base in Persuade and I am using a Sigma P86 brush which is like a tapered kabuki brush just to buff this over the lid and get right into the inner corners and that kind of thing. Then I'm taking some scotch tape and I'm just applying it to the outer corners of the eyes so that our eyeliner and our cut crease kind of thing all looks really good. Then I'm dipping into the Tarte Clay Play palette and I'm first taking this kind of skin tone shade that matches my skin tone on an E52 brush and I'm just basically setting the whole lid. Then I'm going in with this shade, it's like a light brown transition colour on a Sigma E40 brush and I'm just buffing this into the crease and keeping it pretty high towards the brow bone. Then I'm taking the shade called Ember, which is a sort of darker, medium toned, warm toned brown, I guess. And I'm kind of just doing the same thing, but I'm bringing this a little bit further to the outer V and sort of connecting it to my lash line, if that makes sense. I'm then dipping into the shade Smoke, which is a beautiful grey based kind of chocolatey brown and I'm taking an, a Sigma E25 brush. It's a little bit more precise so I'm just building it up in the outer corner and then dragging it through the crease but I'm trying not to bring it down onto the lid so really just keeping it right in the crease and this brush makes it really easy to do that. Then I'm taking the shade Onyx which is a black and it is so creamy and pigmented, I cannot believe it. I'm using a E30 brush again from Sigma and I'm just sort of building it up on the lash line and in the outer corner. As you can see, I slowly like bring the remainder of the product along where the tape is and dragging it in towards the center of the eyelid. And then I'm just using a Sigma E38 brush which is like the E40, just a shorter, like denser version and I'm just using that to blend the shades all out. Then going in with some Tarte Shape Tape on an E58 brush, I'm starting to cut the crease. So as you can see, I bring it right into that inner corner just to keep my eyes really open. And yeah, I'm just applying it really carefully, cutting the crease, and then I go ahead and I just blend it all out with my finger and then taking an E25 brush again, which is what I used earlier. I'm just making sure the edges are blended and the concealer doesn't end really like starkly. I don't know if that's a word, but if it is, I just, I just used it for the first time. Then I'm going back in with the shade Ember on an E62 brush, which is a cut crease brush. Makes life so easy to do a cut crease because as you can see, I'm literally following the line I created with the concealer. Then I'm mixing the shades Sand and Solstice together, which is the two bright matte shades. And I'm pretty much just setting that concealer down in place, just pretty much patting and blending it over. And then once again with the E25 brush, just making sure everything is super blended and seamless. 
Now going in with the yellow liner, which is the star of the show. It is a NYX Vivid Brights liner, and it's in the shade Vivid Halo, which is super bright, kind of pastel-y yellow. So as you can see, I'm just creating a wing. This is a good eyeliner. It does crack a little bit though, which I mean, a lot of colored eyeliners do, so I really can't fault them. The color payoff is beautiful for the price. Then I'm just removing the tape to reveal the nice crisp line. And I'm just going to tight line my eyes with a Rimmel Black Coal Pencil as per usual. Then I'm just giving them a curl quickly before applying some Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. And the falsies I used are not my favourite. I really just didn't like the style. Um, but they are the Ardell Foam Ink Lashes in 810, I believe but they will be listed down below along with everything else. Moving back onto the face, I'm going to conceal and highlight using my Tarte Shape Tape. I love, 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 love this concealer so much, but I did apply a little bit too much in this video. As you can see, it's quite a bit more pale than I am, and I don't know why, but I just went a little bit overboard, and it kind of made my whole face a little bit too pale, but... You will see my face reaction when I realize that, just in like two seconds. And there we go. Realized I was looking like a ghost, but that's okay. Just to make sure you don't apply too much of this concealer because you really, really don't need it, to be honest. I'm then going in with the It Cosmetics CC Plus Powder, I think it's called. I'm starting out with an F35 brush from Sigma just to set my under eyes and sort of like the smaller crevices of my face. Then I swapped over to an F20, which is a super big powder brush, just to set everywhere else. Then dipping back into the Clay Play palette, I'm taking the middle shade, which is called Desert, and I'm using an F05 brush just to contour my face. And these shades are incredible, all of these contour shades. I haven't used the darkest one because clearly I don't need it, um, but the two lighter shades are incredible, and I just love how creamy and pigmented they are and they just really look like good contour powders when they're on your face if you know what I mean. I did just go in with an F50 duo fiber brush just to make sure the edges were all super blended because I didn't realize how pigmented it was until I put it on my face. Then I'm just taking this blush from NYX. I completely forget the name, but it's very peachy and I just applied it to the apples of my cheeks and blended it back. And then again with the F50 brush, oh my gosh, I just blended away any excess product. Then I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped Glow Kit and I'm using the shade Summer, I believe. Uh, it is beautiful. Do you, do you see this going on my face? It is so gorgeous. I love, 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 love this palette. And as you can see, I just wanted to glow to the gods. So I did again go in with my F50 brush just to blend it out a little bit because I went a little bit overboard, but it's a beautiful highlight. Then I just took some MAC Fix Plus and set everything down basically. Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm taking the shade Ember again on an E40 brush and I'm just blending pretty much all underneath the lower lash line and I'm pretty careful in that outer part where the winged liner is. I wanted to add some smokiness underneath the liner but I didn't want it to cover up any of the liner if you get me. Um, here I'm going in with smoke and onyx on my E30 brush and I'm just going underneath the lower lash line just to smoke everything out but I did just go in with my E40 brush again and make sure that that was all super blended and seamless. And then I'm just taking Solstice, which is the lightest matte shade on an E20 brush and I just highlighted the brow bone. Then I decided to apply some pretty gold glitter in the inner corners. This is one of the Stila Magnificent Metals liquid eyeshadows, I think they're called. It's in Gold Goddess, so I just packed some of that onto my inner corners. And then I just applied some lower lash mascara and some black liner to the waterline, and that completed the eyes. 
Moving on to lips, I took this Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick in the shade Sugar Mama. This colour is absolutely beautiful. It goes on pretty pale and pastel, but it dries down to be more of like an orangey peachy matte, but it is gorgeous. And that was the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Pleasant man. That's it? You called it?